What's up, Tech Gang? Stefan here from TechRate. Today, I'm going to be giving you my Samsung Galaxy A52 predictions. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? I hope you guys are having a great day today. Hope everyone is safe out there. Today, I'm going to be talking about my Samsung Galaxy A52 predictions and basically what specifications we might see on the Galaxy A52 when that phone is released. Now, I did compile these specifications by myself. These aren't going to 100% be factually correct once the you know device comes out, but these are merely my predictions on what I want to see on the Galaxy A52 and what we might see on the Galaxy A52. Now starting off with the processor getting straight into this, I hope we see something like the Snapdragon 765 processor. Now the 765 processor is a device we're seeing more and more in 2020, especially on mid-range devices. We've seen it on the Rebel 5G, we've seen it on many other Samsung and Android devices, and I just feel like the 765 would be a good spot to start off at. I feel like for the price at the time, the Exynos 9611 for the Galaxy A51 was definitely a very very good value but I feel like they just need to bump it up a little bit to the Snapdragon 765 or the 765G and I feel like this is going to be a good place um, to pretty much go from the Exynos 9611. I feel like there needs to be some sort of growth from the A51 to the A52 as far as the processor goes. Now, as far as the RAM, I feel like six gigabytes of RAM is definitely appropriate um, for the Galaxy A52. We saw that on the Galaxy A51 and really I had no issues there. I feel like a lot of people liked that we had six gigabytes of RAM. I feel like that was an adequate amount for most people, but if they can even up it to seven or eight gigabytes of RAM, that'd be insane. But I feel like they're gonna keep it probably around six gigabytes of RAM. I noticed that there was way less slow down when we had six gigs um, you know video games played better just everything in general was really really fluid on six gigabytes of RAM next as far as the storage goes I believe they're gonna stay with 128 gigabytes of internal storage and options to expand via micro SD card I feel like 128 gigabytes is definitely an adequate amount um, to go on the Galaxy A52. I feel like the A51, um, it was definitely enough for me. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below, but I think 128 gigabytes of internal storage was a great place to start out at. Um, you know, some other devices like the LG Stylo 6, um, we received only 64 gigabytes of internal storage, and that was very close to the price of the Galaxy A51. Um, 128 gigabytes for me is good, but I want to know your guys' opinions in the comment section down below. Now, as far as the camera goes, the triple camera setup that we previously saw in the Galaxy A51 was actually really good. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing the same one, obviously, you know, maybe upgrading it a little bit more, maybe starting with a 64 megapixel pixel wide camera and then having like a 16 megapixel ultra wide and then having a regular depth camera I feel like that was a very nice setup Samsung has done a very very good job with their optimization on their cameras and I just feel like all of the features that were implemented through the updates that we saw in the a50 the a20 a21 and a51 were definitely really nice upgrades to the camera but same camera would be great um, really did like that camera. As far as the battery goes, I would love to see a 4,500 milliamp battery instead of a 4,000 milliamp battery that we saw in the Galaxy A51, but I think 4,000 was definitely good enough, but I'd like to see also 25 watt fast charging instead of 15. Now we started seeing 25 watt fast charging on the Galaxy A51 5G and the A71 5G, so once they release this device, it's probably going to be around the same price point as A51 5G and 71 5G. So I feel like they should at least give us that 25 watt fast charging. And uh, I feel like that would be a really, really good upgrade to the battery. Now getting into the display on the Galaxy A52, um, on the Galaxy A51 that we saw in 2019, we saw Corning Gorilla Glass 3. We saw a Super AMOLED capacitive touchscreen and we also saw a 6.5 inch screen. Now, I would love to see another 6.5 inch screen or potentially a 6.7 inch screen on the Galaxy A52, but you know, I could take it or leave it. It's not really an important thing to me. Um, also, as far as the Super AMOLED screen goes, um, I would love to see that again. If they can do the same screen as the A71 5G and put a Super AMOLED Plus screen on there, I think that would be even better. But I feel like the screen in general was a very, very good screen. Now, the only thing I would really like to change with the display um, definitely has to be 
no Corning Gorilla Glass 3. Now, Corning Gorilla Glass 3 was fine, um, but I feel like if they're gonna, you know, upgrade the screen at all with anything, I feel like they should use Gorilla Glass Victus. Um, they're using that on the A71 5G and a few other devices, and I feel like that's probably the best glass you can be using. And if they're gonna roll out the A52, I feel like they should use something like that that offers even more protection um, than the A51. So that's really the only thing that I would change as far as the display goes. Also, as far as the colors go, we saw all of the prism colors and things like that. I feel like they should use those same colors, but maybe do something like a matte or a frosted glass or something like that and include some sort of, you know, more premium material like glass, metal, aluminum, something like that. Um, I feel like the A51 didn't feel like insanely cheap, but it also didn't really feel premium at all. So I feel like, you know, if they make something that feels like the Rebel 5G, for example, I feel like that would be very nice and I feel like a consumer would be insanely happy uh, to see that they have a device um, that feels that good at a mid-range price. Now, finally finishing this video with the price and the release date. Obviously, we saw the A51 was released last year, December of 2019, so I'm hoping this year they release the Galaxy A52 in December as well and do the same thing as last year. I feel like that was a very, very calculated drop, and I feel like a lot of people are gonna want you know, this device around the holiday time. So I feel like that was a very calculated and very good drop. Um, and I also feel like they should release this in between $350 to $399. Um, seeing last year, the Galaxy A51 was released at $399. Um, you know, I'm not really mad at that price. And especially with these specifications, I would not be mad either. So hopefully we get this device for $399 or sub $399. That would be a very good price point for this. But yeah, guys, tell me what you guys think in the comments section down below. Um, these are the specifications that I think were most likely going to receive on this device as well as the date and the price um, but if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like down below as well as subscribing if you're not a part of the tech gang already also hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time i do upload a new video this has been safan from tech right peace out tech gang